One thing you might have encountered is a dog nutter referring to a dog that's clearly aggressive as protective. I'm not sure when this nonsense got started, but this is nothing short of Orwellian. Actually, it is Orwellian, straight up. Or, more specifically, it is a form of doublespeak. What William Lutz, author of the book titled Doublespeak, defines as... Doublespeak is language designed to evade responsibility, make the unpleasant appear pleasant, the uh, unattractive appear attractive. Basically, it's language designed to mislead while pretending not to. Understand something. When the dog nut ideologue says things like this, it is often said in an attempt to downplay the severity of some action perpetrated by the dog. Now keep in mind that there are many videos like the one I am about to describe. But about a year ago, I was in the comment section of a video where some massive beast came out of nowhere and attacked a delivery worker. The video I am about to play is not that video, but it was a similar outcome. By the way, In that other video I was commenting on a while ago, the delivery worker didn't have a car to jump on top of, and the dog was much larger. Of course, some dog apologist came on and tried telling me that the dog was being protective and that it was defending the family inside. I simply asked this apologist what exactly the dog was actually protecting anyone from. Do you actually believe this delivery worker was a threat to anyone, just like you say the stupid dog seems to think? As you can probably guess, I never got a response back on this. I've been meaning to address this topic for a while, actually, but recently someone who claims they actually hate dogs said to me, Look at the behavior of wolves and you can see it lineally in dogs. Encroachment onto a dog's territory causes the dog to preemptively intimidate or repulse the threat in order to protect those it loves. The first thing to make note of is the fact that dogs don't love anything. And neither do wolves, nor do any predators. But this is the main point. What constitutes a threat in the simple mind of a dog is what we intellectually understand to be a person out walking, jogging, or delivering packages that people have ordered. Unlike dogs, we are capable of understanding the basic fact that this is not an actual threat. Dogs thus have a faulty perception, and what they falsely believe is irrelevant. This is the entire reason dogs are out of place in human settlements, or at least one of several very important ones. They cannot distinguish between a legitimate threat and a person simply going on about their business within a societal context. Dogs, therefore, have no place in human society. What's more, citing a similarity between dogs and wolves in this aspect only helps to make a stronger case against your own point, not ours. After all, wolves and dogs are both out of place in human settlements. The difference is that most people generally recognize this fact about wolves and other sizable predatory animals, but not dogs. The irony is that many dogs are far more aggressive and dangerous than wild wolves. For starters, dogs are actually all around us, whereas wolves are not. And domestic dogs are more mindlessly aggressive than their wild canine counterparts, and they are more likely to approach or attack humans than most animals, period. The way this supposed protection most commonly manifests is with people's simple house dogs that sit by the window and bark at anything and everything they see or feel like barking at. These dogs are not guarding or protecting a damned thing. All they're doing is displaying mindless aggression. Full stop. I even got into a brief back and forth with someone on Quora who actually tried to tell me that the nasty beasts that attacked Jacqueline Durand were being protective of the home. What I explained to them was that in all likelihood, no. The dogs first of all perceived no threat from the 21-year-old female dog sitter who was far from an above-average sized human. I also explained that even if the stupid, violent dogs actually felt something like an instinct to protect, they weren't actually protecting anyone or anything. What they did was the opposite of protection. The house was under no threat from this unfortunate woman at any point. This is just something dogs do from time to time. They attack viciously and without cause. The dogs that attacked Jacqueline Durand did not attack out of fear, self-preservation, or protecting the home. They utterly brutalized and ripped her apart and dragged her around the house, tore most of her clothes off, and they were so hostile that first responders could not get to her immediately. It reportedly took about half an hour. The scene was a bloodbath, and she reportedly sustained over 800 bites on her body. Something that is capable of doing something like this has no place in human society. Dogs are not rational beings, and the plain truth is that a dog does not even need a reason to haul off and maul someone. A dog will attack a person simply because the dog sees them, 
No thought or deliberation goes into it, and an attack can happen in a split second. All you have to do is ride a bicycle past a dog or deliver some mail door-to-door, -door, and it is highly likely that the dog will behave menacingly toward you. It even takes less than that, because at the end of the day, all you have to do is be in the presence of a dog, and that dog may decide to attack you. This is the fate that befell Jacqueline. Putting the breed and even the science aside, she voluntarily walked into a house to stay with two large predatory mammals, which look every bit as dangerous as they are. She probably regrets that decision every day of her life. There should have been something in her gut, and in her brain, in her very core, telling her that this was a terrible idea. She should have passed on dog-sitting that day, and any day. By the way, this is something we hear about a lot, isn't it? Young women killed by dogs while dog-sitting. But the bottom line is this. If a dog nutter starts talking about a good deal, hold on to your wallet. If they tell you that the sky is blue, you had better double-check, because it probably no longer has that appearance to the naked eye. If a dog nutter says something, chances are, the very opposite is true. Guard dogs are useless. Multiple informal studies alone have already demonstrated that dogs aren't great at protecting their owners, and that in fact, they're often unwilling to. Further, robbers can easily outsmart them. The dog nut ideologue must say this. They must describe a clearly aggressive dog as protective, as defensive, or reactive, or some other rubbish. But do not fall for it. Listen to your instincts. We all know what hostility and aggression look like. We know full well what dogs are capable of. We know that over 99% of the time, there is absolutely nothing for a dog to protect its owner from at all. The only rare exception would be in the odd case of somebody actually intruding into a home or trespassing into a yard where a dog happens to be, with ill intent. But that is definitely not an everyday occurrence. The average dog nutter will never get robbed or mugged or anything of the kind.